Hi, my name's Matthew Haywood. We're currently in Corbel Woods of Buxton, Derbyshire, where I live. And we're here to talk about skin cancer awareness. Fifteen years ago, uh, when I first started using a local gym, I was told by the beautician that was part of the gym, she was running the sunbeds and the therapies, as a, a vulnerable skin type, if I used that sunbed once a month, it would help better condition my skin in the sun. Fifteen years on, I get told by specialists at a cancer hospital that every time I went on that sunbed as a young lad, it was another nail in my coffin towards what I'm dealing with now. And we've all think it's right for us, it's healthy to have a tan. And then all of a sudden, the, the, the numbers double from 1990 to now. And, you know, 20, 30 years later, oh, everyone's damaged and broken now. We best reconfigure this and sort it out. I originally noticed the lesion on my back had moved and changed colour ever so slightly in the first lockdown. Unfortunately, it was in the centre of my back, a little bit out of sight, out of mind. Having obviously noticed this, there was efforts to phone the doctors, but you know, there was a lot of you are number 16 in the queue. And then there's, oh, I'll try again tomorrow, and then before you know it, three weeks have gone by, then months roll on by. It actually got to the stage where I was in the bathroom with my top off, cleaning my teeth, and my missus just caught it uh, by eye. She says, that's changed a lot now. It's a lot different than it was. And that led us to looking through old photographs to see when this mole started to change or when it even started existence. Uh, and we found photos actually from a holiday to Cuba in 2013 where the mole wasn't even on my back. I got a, a phone consultation with my local GP um, who I sent a few photos to. He asked me to sit down and he basically said, I'm no dermatologist, but it doesn't look good. It ticks all the criteria of, of a nasty mole. I got into uh, dermatology, they shone a light and a, a magnifying glass over the mole and her words to me was, I don't need to take a biopsy off that to tell you what it is, I know it's melanoma. Embarrassing for me um, and why I pretty much got involved with the awareness campaigns both with Light Skin Science and on a personal level is because when she told me it was melanoma I had to ask what melanoma was. And for me as 38 year old, 37 at the time, looking back now to have pale skin, blue eyes, ginger hair and not know what melanoma is just is embarrassing in its own right. I did want to try and put positive spin on my negative situation so I told my story. I posted pictures of me in Christie's hospital when I came round from surgery um, and basically people lived alongside me while I was going through what I was going through. And in a, a short period of time, probably 10 weeks uh, of, of posts, um, I think 14 people reached out to me personally, four of which got referred to dermatology, two of which had stage two skin cancer. But they got out in front of it based on my post and what, what I've prevented there is then going to stage three. So I want to now make sure that even if people think I'm boring them to death with the awareness that you know, if, if just one person in a thousand registers to go and get a mole checked, or they realize that they're living in the sun wrong, um, then you know, my job's done now.